Vancha kalpa trubis cha, kripa sindhuva eva cha, patitanam pavanevyo, vaishnavevyo namo namaha. Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yutapare Kamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavangstra Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sarvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakam Vitam Vistra Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shavakaya Chakshur Anmelitam Jena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Namo Mahavaranyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratvije Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadhara, Shri Vas Adi, Shri Gaura Bhakta Vrinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Well, I have a surprise guest, surprise to me, and maybe to you too, because it's Actually, it's quite late. It's three o'clock in the morning, which actually seems quite late at the moment. And probably especially for Abhinavasundra Prabhu, who's just flown in from Australia and still thinks he's on Australian time, maybe. So as we were giving our Vandana, he arrived. I wondered which mysterious figure was looming out of the dark. So it's our good fortune because we can get it different perspective on devotional service from our different family members. All right, so dear devotees, and super having you with us, and you are with us here, and on Facebook, I'll turn on Facebook too. And so I hope I can turn on Facebook too. And then we'll be able to see more of our devotee family. Back to back to basics. All right. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. All right. Dear devotees, yesterday, or how can we say it's today, <laughs> when it was actually yesterday, we had a festival here. <laughs> and uh, the festival is the first anniversary of the appearance of the deities, Shri, Shri, Shri Guru Kauranga Gandhavika Gopinath Jung, to accompany Giriraj here in Vila Govinda Ashram. And so we really did have a, a, a sweet gathering and a very loud gathering of devotees from actually around the world, literally around the world, the other side of the round world of Abhinavasundar Prabhu and Kelly Kadambanana. They came over just for this festival and to stay a few hours longer running into, I don't know how long, I think a good length of time. So anyway, it's also, it's an auspicious day and um, I was remembering the installation of the deities in Koikali. Uh, also, Koikali is a, uh, I was going to say it's a suburb of Calcutta, but actually... Calcutta is you know, one large metropolis by now. And Koikali is our temple. We have an ashram, not just an ashram, we have a temple, ashram, pond, um, coconut trees, and all sorts of things. Um, they're just very near the airport, walking distance from the airport uh, to Koikali. And the, it, uh, yesterday was the installation day of those deities too. And uh, we are very happily were there present for actually the installation of Mahaprabhu, who came first, and Rad, um, yes, Radha Radha Raman, who came presently. They came presently on this day, their installation. So Gurudev actually told that the installation day of the of the deities, it's not really a festival day. But he saw, I mean, sorry, the installation is, excuse me, but the anniversaries, he said it was never previously 
uh, I take, acknowledge that, okay, we'll have a festival on the installation of the deities, but it gives inspiration for the devotees who, you know, do, as we notice, like to give attention to birthdays and happy birthdays. So when they're giving attention to the sort of happy birthday of the devotees, <laughs> it's a good excuse the devotees come together for, you know, can we say, you know, Krishna's birthday in manifesting within the temple. So earlier, there is not mention, for instance, of you know, the installation day of, well, any deities, I was going to start listing some, but not need no need to mention in that sense when we can say well, they're not listed in the earlier calendars. If we look at 1980, the 1980s calendars, you won't find any installation uh, date of this deity, that deity, however you know, famous and super famous and everything else they may be. But here we are, we're in time, place and circumstance and Gurudev very happy that the devotees did start to celebrate uh, these installation days, mainly as a way that devotees come together, chant the holy names of the Lord and honor prasadam together. So anyway, this is a little news from our side of the world. And some of you may have seen uh, some of the clips, etc., of the gathering. And I'm sure, in fact, looking at who I expect all of you were with us <laughs> in one sense or another, because uh, if not directly on, on the, I'm not sure if it is Instagram or Facebook that they were broadcasting, but... I know that there were some cameras were there. If not directly there, I'm sure that in heart you were with us. All right, so this is my news from here. But it don't take the news just from me. Here's Abhin Abhasandra Prabhu, and I'm sure he's come here to participate. Yes, Maharaj. Yes, Maharaj. <laughs> Oops, so come. I couldn't help myself, I was... I was awake because I still think I'm in Australia. Oh dear. So don't have any uh spiritual reason for getting up. It's purely a body mechanics. Okay, okay. But yes, yesterday was um it was really just such a beautiful festival. Because you can see that the devotees here are so sweetly dedicated and you know they've been here for 20 years since the, the ashram was first established and you know it, it like nothing has changed in that in that time in the sense that they started the ashram and they were dedicating themselves every day and here we are 20 years later and they're still dedicating themselves every day and it's it's creating an environment where just the um sweetness is, is expanding and, and permeating through the entire environment and all the devotees who are coming just to have such amazing feelings in their hearts. It's uh, it's really beautiful. And headed by Krishna Kantra and Manuj Mohan and Madhur and Under Shanti Moy, they're all just so effulgent from their surrender, their sacrifice. You know, that as Guru Maharaj says, you know, love means, you know, sacrificing for the object of one's love. And uh, they're all clearly so beautifully sacrificing, you know, what people would normally consider a, a normal life, which is hardly a sacrifice, really, when we've had some experience of what normal life means. So uh, it's really, it's like, Again, Guru might say would say that um, why well, worry about the result when the process is so sweet? Really, they're a, a living example of how the process is remarkably sweet, and and how they all are becoming sweeter and sweeter in the process. Like that uh, analogy when you you know cook down milk and it, you know just with sugar it just becomes thicker and thicker and and more sweet and Condensed, condensed sweetness. So 
it's it's beautiful to see and and uh for me one of the um in, during the kirtan david sheesh led a very powerful beautiful kirtan and uh you know it, it's something happened within my heart which you can't sort of make it happen and that's the beauty about being with with beautiful Vaishnavas is that feelings can can be pulled out of yourself even despite yourself you know I know for me I'm always kind of trying to you know you, you're trying to go on you're trying to practice and you, you're trying to be conscientious and all these things but it, it all just goes out the window when you can actually have a feeling that is forcibly extracted out of your heart because of the association of the Vaishnavas. So that's it doesn't happen that often to me. <laughs> so it was a remarkable thing to me. Okay, yeah, there's the that sweetness by the, the sweetness of all the, the Vaishnavas in that the thing which is already in our heart, which we're trying to find, it it comes out by the grace of the Vaishnavas. So that's my report from yesterday. Report. Okay, <laughs> report from yesterday. These are our reports from yesterday. And I see there are some chats in the chat box. I'll just take a quick look in case there's a question. Time in Australia is 13.04, so it's okay. <laughs> Thanks, Brianna. <Brianna. laughs> the vote is always there to help us out, aren't they? There you go. Well, that's what chat I have in the chat box. So any chat from anyone, but verbally or in the chat box, but verbally, all of you can, all of you can speak, I know. And we have devotees who can't speak. And we very happily have had the devotee gatherings of devotees who can't speak. Actually, they can't hear, therefore they can't speak. And we have a whole devotee uh, uh, community or not community but uh, um, society uh, headed by a devotee called Anantadev from Bangalore and so you know devotees whether we can speak whether we can hear or not whether we can speak or not we can be devotees and this is an amazing thing and that Anantadev he said that he expressed that to me a harp was grace even we can't hear then Still, we can uh, have this connection of Mahaprabhu. It's not mundane sound, it's spiritual sound. All right, dear family gathered here today, does anybody have a question? Oh, yes, Yanana's holding up a real. I just have a short question. I just saw the yesterday. Mm. Maybe you can just comment on this. Like, usually in this world, we want to become stronger and, like, overcome the obstacles. But then I thought, like, shouldn't we actually become weaker, like, in front of the world, so, so to say? Like, mm -hmm. This kind of, uh, you should step back mood. I mean, not to ask Krishna to solve your problems but how to say uh, to show that you shouldn't rely <clears throat> on yourself like like what kind of person should you be strong or weak and maybe in what sense that's the question <laughs> mm? <laughs> <laughs> well as giving you a chance to give an answer okay we can all give some some thought about that at least we can speak our thoughts and one thing is gurudev appreciated strength but strength in the directed in the in the proper way and we definitely have some like um, examples where you know gurudev did not appreciate like weakness in in standing up for what was right and that we uh, so that has happened sort of humility to the gundas gurudev 
didn't appreciate that when it was that they are actually doing something physically bad. And we've, I mean, sorry about that, but, you know, in the world, we've had this happen, and we've had this happen in Calcutta. We were just talking about Calcutta, but we have had it happen where the Gunda, and Gunda, I think you know where Gunda means, uh, uh, Dacoid, uh, you know, the rough youth, whatever you want to say. When they come, and they're like ex extorting money and then threatening and then you know, starting to break things with sticks. And then the devotees don't stand up to give uh, resistance to that. Gurudev did not appreciate. And Gurudev has some lion inside of him when things, are, um, when Krishna's energy is being misused and when Krishna's property is being uh, attacked, etc., the devotees being abused, then Gurudev has some lion within him. But so the humility side is amongst the devotees and our attitude. But to be weak, not sure that we see that weakness, it's a case of our our strength needs to be in the proper way. We need to be strong in conviction, strong in our determination that we are going to you know, make it to the goal and not just be a weak-natured person in that sense. And our weakness, whatever weakness, I mean, we are weak compared with everything. And we sometimes think, oh, we did something. But... You know, really, we know that it's the Lord's arrangement. Something happened yesterday. What was it? Lots of things happened yesterday. No, something did happen yesterday when we said, well, how can, how can that be a coincidence? It's just off the, slipped off my mind. But so many things happen. So many things happen if we look around. And it's almost like how many times do we need a message that we are not the doer? Krishna is. But... We are to make the attempt. So, I'm not sure in what term you mean weakness. In English, there is the word a wimpy person. I don't think Gurudev appreciated a wimpy person. Well, I meant like, it's more, uh, yeah, I think it's more about like being humble in this way. But like, not, yeah, maybe not to think that you are a doer or I can without like any words backing something like this. I don't know, altogether actually. Maybe just because you forget very easily about uh, like, that everything comes from the words, including the power. <laughs> That's why. It's, it's not so, like question very much just wanted to, to hear some of your ideas as well okay well Ganga Lidhi has a idea and she has a question for you have you read the chat mm -hmm. do you mean meek <laughs> <laughs> what does meek uh, mean yeah okay meek maybe but not in the <laughs> no, no, not, not in the only just like a meek person, as we said, but meek in front of the world, maybe. Yeah, that also needs some adjustment, like in front of whom and so on. Actually, I think you answered your own question in bringing up the topic of humility, tolerance, okay. giving honor to others and not wanting honor for oneself. But that doesn't mean somebody's like a weak person. We need, you know, we have energy and we need to use our strength. But we, in whatever strength we have, we, okay, tiny strength, everything else. But I'm thinking strength of like determination, this determination, conviction, this mood of surrender. Surrender, by the way, takes some energy somehow or another. I think we find that. Surrender takes some energy. And if and it's not, like Gurumar says, not to come cutting a return ticket. 
We're coming in our devotional life on a one-way ticket. And so to come on a one-way ticket means you know, we're relying certainly on the strength from above. But it takes some conviction to do this. A person is known by their ideal. It's also about the courage, I think. I don't know how. Determination, as you said, yes. This, that you have like some strength, strength to trust some inner. Yeah, yeah and, to, and to go on regardless of any other external things like the devotees here, it's very clear. It's become very clear because something just arrived, but they're all just so dedicated and their determination is so strong that they, this is what they're doing, this is the only thing they're doing, and they do everything for their service. There's, I remember in in Thailand at the uh, at the farm at the uh, the festival, the Vaishnava festival, Sri Govinda farm, and Munindra, because I said, "Oh, you can stay longer," and he said, "I'm not independent." You know, so and it was it was so beautiful to see that that he he doesn't have an independent existence, and we don't want to have an independent existence. We want to be relied upon the service that's coming to us, and if we're, if we're fortunate, then that we can we'll get more and more service, and for that we need to be strong. We need to have that capacity to to continue every day yeah. for the service, not for our own ideas. At some point, you want to belong. Belong? To belong. Well, it's just association is everything. We want... It's not a solo adventure. No, no. I, I mean to belong to like some service. Maybe my spelling is not good. Not alone, uh, but belong to mm -hmm. yeah, some yeah. place or some words or yeah. something. <laughs> Yeah, because that's the, the that is the determining factor. The service is the determining factor, not I. Somehow we have to get that through our stupid heads that I am not the focus. I am not the center. The saver is the focus. The saver is the center. So somehow I need to surrender to that, which means engage all of my energy. But I was also wondering if you were talking about, like in the world, that's a. It seems to be a theme: of people being, I'm manifesting this and I'm doing that, and you know, exercising, and everyone's like becoming more powerful. But you know, is it really for? Is it for service, or is it just some some trip that we're on because we think that that's going to give us some sort of happiness or satisfaction or you know maybe it can prepare us for, for service maybe but we need to have the desire for service as the primary thing not the i will do i will become rich and i'll become strong and i'll become this and then oh then i'll do some service you know, we want to have the service desire as our primary thing and then okay no problem be strong be you know be courageous be be wealthy, there's, there's no problem. Like Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur is using everything in, in service. Look at Amadu Maharaj. I mean, wow. You know, he's doing a lot of things in the world that are just outrageous, you know. But his only desire is that he has such a huge service capacity, service, service desire, then you can do anything. I mean, Amadu Maharaj is a unique case. <clears throat> Not many of us can have that sort of capacity, but uh, that's the idea. We want to use everything and sacrifice our own ideas for the for the service necessity. That's my little squeak. <laughs> I have a quote, <laughs> and it's in relation. It's in relation to this. This topic, but it's also in relation to what 
uh, Abhinava Sundar Prabhu was saying a little earlier about you know, getting some energy from the, automatically getting energy from the Sankirtan. If you sit closer to me, it's easy to put this. Okay, quote coming up. And this is this is Srila Gurudev. Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Bhakti. When all over the world the devotees are chanting and dancing with the holy name of Sri Krishna and receiving transcendental inspiration with their service mood, then by participating in that congregational chanting, we can feel real joyfulness and happiness. Jai. Once we have seen the goal of our life, we must reach there through serving, without stopping and without offence. And by the way, when I read this just now, I, I first I thought it says without shopping. Because <laughs> you also thought that. And how is it that I see people like getting joy from shopping? Oh, I'm going to go shopping. Well, what for? I'm just going to go shopping. Oh, okay. And Anyhow, I'm, I thankfully, whenever I go shopping, it's for something, and I'm always, well, how will I find this in you know, this one thing within this whole supermarket? And nobody's there, nobody will help you out. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Anyway. Okay, but I haven't finished the quote. So one must have the one, sorry, once we have seen the goal of our life. We must reach there through serving without stopping and without offense. Now, Krishna is the game. Mm, sorry, early in the morning. Oh, for me, late in the day. Okay. Krishna is the game maker. And our real position is that, is that we are the eternal transcendental players in his game, his leela. And that life is fully joyful. If once we can have a glimpse of that reality, then we will become a most, sorry, we will become most determined to become a good player. So this kind of strength. The good player automatically will always be given opportunities to play. From all directions, service comes to him and he is always aiming to the goal. And I still haven't finished because another best mini paragraph ever. This is the age of Kali and the influence of demons is very strong. They are trying to enjoy with Krishna's property and that is an absolutely wrong and hellish mood. But within any environment, the devotees always will try to serve the Divine Master as well as the Supreme Lord. That is the nature of devotees. In this age of Kali, it is Mahaprabhu's mercy that everybody has a chance to practice Bhakti Yoga simply by chanting the holy names of Lord Krishna. Hare Krishna. So that jumped out at me while looking through. Let's continue. So I think I'm fine. Sorry. I was going to sneeze, but then I remembered, cannot sneeze in front of the deities. Still going to sneeze. Okay. Some chats came in the chat box. So I think this also comes under the category of enthusiasm, confidence, patience, those things go along with somebody who has got some conviction and determin determination. You see, determination to reach our goal. Do you mean surrendering, Marianne, surrendering the ego takes strength and de determination? Yes, yes. 
and Seva Rupa Srila Bhakti Sundar. Or did you give the same quote I just gave? I wonder. Let's see. Oh, okay. So yes, Seva, yeah, Seva just Rupa. Are, are you in a position where you can speak and not wake up Kyla and everybody in your home? If so, could you read this for us? And Thank read it and transmit it. Maharaj, it's what you were reading. I was just copying and pasting for everyone's um, clever. reference. Very clever. Very smart. Instant transcription and posting in the chat box. Word for word correct. Hare Krishna. And two new messages. Oh, is this transcript? Okay, perfect. Maharaj, I have something. Angalila here. Sorry, I'm in the dark. I have to find the light first. Um, so I, I'm kind of touched by what Priyanana was asking. And I'm I came up with something else. I came up with that. Um, how I'm relating to that question is that um, sometimes when I let go of my strong, pushy, forcing, moving, muscling, willing myself around, I touch a place of, I think I explain it to myself as a weakness, but I become very quiet. And in that weakness and that not really being able to hold myself and hold my ideas, hold my will and all those things that then I, I grab on a lot tighter to the Maha Mantra, a lot tighter to Krishna's help, a lot. I, I, I find that's something what's moving me. And at first I didn't want to speak up, but because the question wasn't so clear, but I wonder if that is something Priyanana was was uh, maybe maybe asking, but I feel that sometimes it is something I need to overcome because in that strength, there's maybe also a high of being, and in that high, I might not realize that I'm, I get misled by my ego and in actually, and in places where I feel weak is also where I'm more pliable, where it's like, oh, Krishna, you can use me a little bit more now because I'm not so strong. You can use me a lot more now for your service because I'm not so full of my next thing and what am I gonna do now? Is that making any sense? That's what I'm feeling because I I have been strongly moving around my life and, and lately I'm seeing there's a lot for me to gain with letting go of that and in that in that weakness i don't know if that's a good work and that's why i was thinking meek but english is also not my first language and i'm um also relating from when my strength is not so much there i may be more receptive oh, well first of all my comment is i'm astonished that english is not your first language <laughs> Spanish. I'm from Germany. Oh, you're from Germany. All oh, right. Yes, I, re I recall. Well, you speak perfect American English, I have to say. <laughs> acha. Um, maybe acha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, if I, mean, I think your question is actually to Priya Nana. I'll let her answer in a minute, but I'm going to assert my ego just now and just say that. What you're saying, I can give, you know, we all, we all have some experiences ourselves. Like you're saying, you know, we've got our, our insights into some things. Oh, yes, surrender probably is a very good thing because when we surrender, you know, some wonderful things do happen in our heart. But I can give, I mean, a pure example means a pure example means an example of Srila Gurudev. So then, you know, with Srila Gurudev, one time after Srila Guru Maharaj's disappearance, then there were many things which happened. There are always things, always things which happen. But many things are happening. And Gurudev was uh, facing so many challenges from the environment, from left, right, center, from the government, from different departments of the government, from here, from there. And Gurudev is a determined person. I mean, he is somebody who really has no 
thought outside of his savior. It's just, I mean, it's just his natural being. Pure devotees, that's their natural state. State. I mean, so it's not he's, he's trying to do something. He's engaging in savor always. But Gurudev had, had an expression and he, he actually said it several times. So, I mean, devotees, many devotees must have heard. But Gurudev said, I'm not praying to Krishna for uh, getting me over this or this or this or this. He's too busy. He's busy in his pastimes with the gopis and gopas and all his associates. He's busy there. Why will I disturb him when he's so you know, busy in his land? I'll face these on as service to him. I'll not give trouble to Krishna. I'll do this. So Gurudev faces facing so many things. But then, and he was you know, really in some difficulty and, and worried the, about so many things. And uh, he'd been like this for maybe two weeks with additional things coming in and the federal government coming, making inquiries. I mean, there were all sorts of things which were behind the scenes. And by the way, Srila Gurudev didn't like reveal this to everyone. It wasn't like, oh, this is the topic when you know, devotees have come to him. When devotees are coming and they're coming up to Gurudev, Gurudev, he's giving his Krishna consciousness and he's not, you know, like in the complaining mood about this and that and the environment. But he has to face, then the devotees are there, and then in like managing the temple, that aspect of seva, then he's facing these things. And then, uh, then one morning I go up to Gurudev as we would do our service to him early in, early in the morning before Mangalati will go, I will go to Gurudev because he wanted that for the, the day seva and correspondence and things like that. That was his good time. And then one morning I went up to him and Gurudev is sitting there, very relaxed and very peaceful. And he said, now I feel peaceful. And last night I had good sleep because yesterday evening I realized that with this extra thing that had just come onto Gurudev's shoulders, he said, I've been trying to face all of these uh, challenges, all of these difficulties. But now, with the, this extra that's come from this way and this way and this way, he said, now I understand it's beyond me. I told to Guru, De, to Guru Maharaj last night, I told to Guru Maharaj, Guru Maharaj, this is all beyond me. I'm putting it in your hand. There's nothing I can do. I can only um, be here as an instrument and try but here I'm putting it all in, you, in your hand. You can do everything. And he said like this, and it was to Guru Maharaj that he said, I, told, I said to Guru Maharaj, here, it's your ashram. I'm here. I can't, uh, I can't possibly deal with all these things. I just surrender. And, he, and Guru, this is Guru Dev. So he's showing by example. Just like Chaitanya Charitamrita, we get the example of Mahaprabhu himself in so many circumstances of so many pure devotees means Parshad. And by the way, it's Parshad is an associate, an eternal associate. And Prashad, sometimes think people, devotees in the song, they think, oh, it's a spelling mistake. It should be Prashad. But Parshad is an associate of the Lord, eternal associate of the Lord. And Prashad, R-A, well, rice down Sabji, is not Prashad unless it is the mercy of the Lord. So Prashad means mercy, mercy of the Lord. But often we think, we immediately think of rice down Sabji in its transcendental form. Okay, devotees, we know. So anyhow, this was a little, something that came in my mind, Gangali Vidhi, when you were explaining this mood, as an example from Srila Gurudev himself. And his, his pastimes, as he was saying in the, that quote that uh, Seva Rupadev has put in the chat box about everything is his Leela and we are a part of that, that Leela. We have a part to play in those pastimes. 
But Priyananda, I think your question was to her. And so some re reflection, illumination, some chin from Priyananda. Mm, yes, thank you, Gangaliwa, because I also saw that sometimes when we are weak, even physically, somehow it gives us more opportunity for surrender and you can a little bit understand the prayers of Queen Kunti, I mean the mood. So it's all for the best. Thank you everyone for sharing their own understanding of this. Chenada pi suni chena taro riva sahishnana amanina mana dena kitania sada hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Govinda, Govinda, Govinda. And also early in the morning, Ananda Sundari Devirasi. Happy to have you with us from Australia and Tungarasa early in the morning. In Norway. Hare Krishna. And Narayani Nadia with us early on from the redwood forests of California. Perhaps. Would anyone like to make a contribution? Oh, silent. Ramachandra. This is huh? Ramachandra. Uh, this is Axel. Axel, I'm not sure who's behind Axel. Oh, was it? No. Okay, you leave us. You leave us guessing, unless you reveal your form. But a beautiful picture, and we're just trying to make it a bit bigger. Can we make the picture bigger? Mm, I, I mean, the thumbnail. I is met Axel, and he is awesome. He is the cousin of uh, of our Ananda Krishna. Yeah, I met him a few times. Maybe he'll speak. And the oh. picture I was there was at the Govinda Mela in SoCal, and we went out on a Harinam. I so that right is Ramachandra Prabhu. Yeah, and that is Ramachandra Prabhu right behind him. Okay. So he, sorry, Ananda Krishna's cousin. Yes, Axel, you can speak. Can you? Maybe he's not able to speak, but they are cousins. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Well, now we're very happy to know who is behind the name of Axel and to know your family relation in our devotional family. Very welcome to be here. And. Madhav Prabhu on Facebook and others who I may not be able to see are there too. Uh, now, my Facebook dropped off. Back to back to basics. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Garadhara Shri Vas Adi Shri Gaura Back to Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Krishna is the game maker, yes. And Anand, oh, Ananda Sundari, she's put a little chat. I'm so excited to see you and the devotees. I will be there on Thursday. Yes, we are excited at the prospect too. And looking forward to that. And uh, on Thursday still, we're going, we've, we've got a full house of devotees. Oh, there's something that the devotees are making. I don't know if any of you heard. They're making a tiny, a tiny house on a, on a trailer, on a flat back trailer that's used by the farm that they were not using anymore. They've given to Manindra and the devotees here. And so they're going to make accommodation, not permanent accommodation, but accommodation for three more devotees in a tiny house on the trailer so we can have some more accommodation. Two, one bunk bed and one single bed. 
maybe let's see how it turns out it is a tiny house i have to say they're trying to surrender to mother Maharaj's ideas of how many devotees you should be able to fit in a tiny space <laughs> Hare Krishna. We must use Krishna's energy in many ways. Hare Krishna. And by the way, yesterday was a little bit of a good example of fitting many devotees in a tiny space because the temple room, you know, once you start getting a few devotees in, you know, suddenly feels a little small, but because of the number of devotees, but always there's room for another devotee. This is very mystical, just like India. So we felt that a little bit yesterday. And the locally, devotees who took their time off work and that make professional, professional people taking their time from work and coming. It was wonderful to see. And to be with them, to chat with them, to hear with them, their inspiration. And they may be doing so many like professional things in the world, you know, responsible in business, etc. But their heart is in devotional service. Their heart is with the devotees, with chanting, with doing their puja in the morning. And let that be an inspiration to all of us. And we've got a good team here in the temple. I don't know how many are here right now, but oh, you know David Shish Prabhu and myself. Oh, yes, so the last Zoom, the last back-to-back -to, -back to basics we did, I was in Ireland, yes. And so now in uh, Vila Govinda Ashram, just in case you thought we're still in Ireland. No, we're in Italy, in Vila Govinda Ashram. And I came from Ireland. No, just, yes, okay. I came from Ireland via London and picked up Dave Vashish at the airport. I didn't pick him up, but we met at the airport and came together on the flight. And that was Krishna's arrangement. It wasn't the first arrangement, because there, were, there are no direct flights from Shannon, which is where we were in Ireland. Ireland. The Shannon is the nearest airport to the Limerick Temple. And so the flight just happened to go through London, and Devashish would just happened to be coming here. So it all happened. So we came together and Hare Krishna and Ananda Sundari Didi will be with us and meeting in person our Australian contingent, our Thai contingent, our Salt Lake City contingent, our Ukraine contingent, our, we oh, better not miss anybody, our Italian contingent and different, different devotees. Hare Krishna. So, basis of devotional life in back to back to basics terms. Chant Hare Krishna and be happy. And that really, Srila Gurudev giving us a beautiful quote today to compliment, to express what, what Abhinava Sundar Prabhu had expressed about chanting the congregation. Hare Krishna. Deva Sunda Prabhu Madhura Nanda's Galaxy. Okay, Madhura Nanda. Oh, I don't have a passport. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have internet on my Facebook. So I was just about to steal some internet from Madhura Nanda's phone, but I don't have his password. <laughs> so I can't. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Priya Sundari Riri, you look like you're ready to say something. Would you like to express something? Yes, it's so good to be Dhanavad. It's so good to be with devotees. I was uh I hear I'm here in, in Buenos Aires and there aren't any ashrams. Uh so you said I should go to uh to look for the ISKCON devotees and I, I did. I visited the their temple and it's very different, but it's like you said uh, earlier today, it's uh I think he was today or he was in a reading um, that it doesn't matter how, but you have to uh, chant Hare Krishna with your heart. And now I think it was Prabhu who was saying this, uh, or I'm sorry, <laughs> maybe making some confusions, but 
it was said that uh, as long as it's uh, it's the chanting, doesn't matter how, even if you, yeah, you said this, even if you cannot speak, if you cannot hear with your ears, but it's there. And it was so nourishing to really to sing and, and to be with devotees also chanting Hare Krishna. And it was very, uh, very good for for the heart and, and very nourishing. And yes, but I'm very happy to be here again and yeah, to meet devotees in the in the way that I uh that that sing Jai Guru Deva and, and they have different ways of uh, of praising and, and having all the glories and this the instruction is uh, is also different and so I'm very happy uh, to be back but just the set the chanting is uh, it's like there is no language it's it's really just Hare Krishna so it's very it's very nice And we have to give all honor to ISKCON, to Srila Prabhupada's mission, how it's continued. And you see, wherever we are, even in quite small places, then we find, oh, yes, there's a community here, maybe an ashram, maybe a, a Saturday meeting in the homes, but all over the world, they're also continuing, and not only continuing in some places, you know, thriving very much and it's a joy to see, and Guru and Guru Maharaj was the greatest supporter of Iskon. I mean, Iskon, Srila Prabhupada. I mean, we can put a name to it, and as we can say, you know, SCS Mat, Sri Chaitanya Sarasat Mat. But everything is personal, and what is the Mat? It's Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Guru Maharaj, and Srila Guru Dev. And it's actually, you know, one day I'm right there with Guru Maharaj, and Guru Maharaj saying. In ISKCON, International Society for Krishna Consciousness, Swami Maharaj, he liked that name very much, Ishakon, Ishakon, he liked that name. And then Guru Maharaj, he said, and where is that today? Where is the International Society for Krishna Consciousness? And it was kind of, it was just like reflecting, and I certainly I felt it's right here at Guru Maharaj's lotus feet. This is what Srila Prabhupada wanted. We're trying to do what he wanted without any sort of um, political dilution, you know, for the sake of uh, anything. You know, there's reasoning behind everything. But it's what Srila Prabhupada wanted, that the devotees will come to hear from Guru Maharaj. And here we are, hearing from Guru Maharaj and still hearing from Guru Maharaj. And in the association of devotees who wish to hear from Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. And in the style, the songs also, sometimes we hear some of the songs being sung quite differently in our own matter. This is not about Iskon or anything else, but we, we like the style of you know, the mat, how they sang. I mean, that may be a little... You no know, sentimental or something, because you know ultimately there are no hard and fast rules in the chanting of the holy name of the Lord. Gurudev points this out in various ways, but still, the way that is chanted in the mat, why not? We will try to follow that when we know it, and if we're in a local community and things, you know, pass from you know, not only generation to generation but devotee to devotee and maybe a little bit different from one to another teaching how to sing a song, then from that to the other, and then by the time it's gone through a few hands, it's come out as a different tune. But it's okay. But if we know what is the original tune as given, you know, as they sing in the mat, then we are happy to, to follow that style. One common question with devotees who visit us, who are accustomed to going to Iskon, is they say, why do you chant the Maha Mantra half and half? Like, first we chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. What's the next one? Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. No, I didn't also. No, no, first we chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. And then there's the response. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Then we chant Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 
but actually after seeing the the like the whole family of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's next generation and generations, we see that actually everywhere they do chant it as Srila Saraswati Thakur chanted it, as we understand, because Guru Maharaj follows that clearly, is to chant Hare Krishna as we do, and then Hare Rama as we do. But Srila Prabhupada, so then I say, well, actually, my question is, I wonder why Srila Prabhupada, he established in the West the chanting of the full Maha Mantra and then the response. And, you know, I can have my own answer, but it's only my own speculation because I don't know that anybody actually asked Srila Prabhupada that question. And anyhow, you know, all these whys, we don't really have to have an answer to the why. But still, it could be that Srila Prabhupada wanted to establish like the full Maha Mantra in the way that it is given that we will be chanting like the full Maha Mantra at once. Whereas in India, I think everybody sort of knows the Maha Mantra from birth because they're so accustomed to the Vedic teachings. And I'd heard the Maha Mantra before coming in touch with the devotees at all. And you know, while in India before being with the devotees and in Kashmir, the the local like kirtaniyas and you having kirtaniyas coming to the the houseboat way back when when we were young in you know traveling and staying on houseboats, they're chanting this maha mantra as part of this is traditional Indian bhajra. So in India, people tend to know that, and so. You know, this way of chanting, same, same, but different. But this is a common question that comes up. And only Srila Prabhupada can answer. And many questions came up that in Srila Prabhupada, when he was directly present, you know, they didn't, they weren't, they didn't come up. And especially those about, you know, after the Guru has disappeared from the world, how to continue. And there we will find, you know, serious questions and serious answers in the, in the form of the sincere inquiry of the devotees who are now in that difficult situation, having to adjust and how to continue. And hence we have Sri Guru and His Grace. Do not neglect the wonderful, clear, unique presentation, teaching of what is Krishna consciousness and the relationship, what is a disciple, what is guru, what is our uh, uh, journey, our devotional journey home. It's unique in all of the Veda, Vedic scripture, to have this one book of Krishna consciousness under the guidance of Guru and everything relying on that current, descending current, Sri Guru and His Grace. Hare Krishna. Rukmini Didi joined us. Rukmini and Lin joined us. To Hare Krishna. Govinda, Govinda. From iPhone the Rukmini, Acha, iPhone the Rukmini. Where are you? I am in Maya. <laughs> you can tell by the association. <laughs> <laughs> I am with Abhinava Sangha. <laughs> I'm in it. <laughs> yes, Italy. We're in Italy. I know sometimes for some reason my mouth says Ireland instead of Italy and Italy instead of Ireland. And they both begin with I. Okay. Anyway, no, we're back in, in uh, Italy, Rukmini Didi. We're at the uh, Vila Govinda Ashram. And yesterday we celebrated the first anniversary of the installation of the deities with a really beautiful uh, festival day. And Munindra Mohan, who actually, the four pillars who are here and the fifth pillar means um, Sundarananda. No, Sundarananda. 
I know him. Sundarananda. North Sundarananda. Shyama Sundar, shoot me again. Please shoot. You, I, I asked you to shoot the reader before when I was reading badly. So shoot the teller. Shyama Sundar Prabhu, who's in America, can't be here. But these five pillars, four pillars who were directly here, the fifth pillar married an American lady, Jaya Sri. And so she, he's living in Salt Lake City, Utah. And one of those pillars in Utah, a pillar here and a pillar there. So anyhow, these five pillars, like all, like so, uh, they gave their heart to make the ashram and all of them yesterday, glowing and happy and joyful for this uh, program that's taken place and for the deities who have come themselves to be accepting the service of the Vaishnavas here. So, Rukmini, really, that's where we are. And I see you're in the same place as you were last week with some street lights behind you, sitting very still. Hare Krishna. Jaya, Jaya, Jaya. Yes, Jai, Jai, Jai. I can't. Yes, it's okay. It's all good, Rukmini Lily. And Rukmini, she told me, she's told me many things, but she said, I, I was a, a girl of 12, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I was a girl of 12 years old. I really didn't understand anything. But, but Gurudev gave me initiation. I didn't really understand anything, but it's the best thing that ever happened in my life. Hmm. And this is like 30 or 35 years later, she's saying that. So, you know, fortune, fortune can descend in many ways. I should look at the account of my camera. And my baby is sleeping. Yes, thanks for remembering. Yes, certainly remember that. Okay, dear devotees, Abhinavasandrapu, a final word. You're not always quiet. You can say a word for everyone. Quick word of inspiration. Hare Krishna. <laughs> That's two words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I better say Nitai Goranga to complement that. All right. So, dear devotees, Festival times with devotees, festival times in back to back to basics and happily with everybody here and on Facebook and in the recorded versions which are around and about. And we're happy to be with you and with like-minded devotees heading in the same direction and with the strength of each other. May we all help each other on our journey homewards quickly and in remembrance of the Lord. Deva Shish Prabhu is here and we're expecting that today will be his day because he could only come briefly this time and today is his last day here in Italy. So we're expecting this morning's program. We're hoping, we're trying to draw some personal nectar from him. So if you're able to join the program from here, 7.30 Italy time, then the daily program, but he'll be the the speaker, whether he'll read or speak, let's see what will be. I cannot see into the future. Okay, dear devotees, Jai, our wonderful guide, guardian, everything, Jai Om Vishnupad, Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai, who has given us our grand master and everything. We get everything from many places. That is Om Vishnu Bhad, Srila Bhakti Rokha, Sridha Dev Goswami Maharaj, Srila Guru Maharaj, Ki Jai, who has given us everything of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Bhagavan, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Ki Jai, who has given us everything of Srila Gokishore Das Bhai Bhaji Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, the whole Rupa Nuga Sampradaya, to Srila, so, so to the whole Sri Rupa Nuga Sampradaya, Ki Jai and Jai to uh, uh, Bhakti Devi, Srimati Talasi Devi, Ki Jai to Nama Charja Srila Haridas Thakur, Ki Jai to the present day, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat, Acharya Brind, Ki Jai to the unlimited number of devotees, Ki Jai, Ananta Koti, unlimited millions, 
unlimited tens of millions if you want to get it, but that anyway, unlimited Ananta Koti Vaishnavrinda Ki Jai. And to all of the assembled Vaishnavas Ki Jai. Nitai Goru Premanandi Hari Hari Go Bancha Kalpaturubias Cha Kripa Sindubia Eva Cha Atitanam Pavanebio Vaishnavibio Namo Namaha. Ya shall back to Ranjamat Sumarash Ki Jai Abhinava Sundar Prabhu Ki Jai. Our surprise morning guest who loomed out of the darkness to manifest himself. Okay, dear devotees, we'll leave you. Please have a special day, evening, whatever, wherever you may be, and we'll meet again soon. And Axel, happily now knowing uh, who you are, but uh, happily having you with us too, of course. Hare Krishna. Amra Ashchi. Tiny homes <laughs> from who? Oh, no. <laughs> Naraini, Nadia. Yeah, I thought you would like that, Naraini. So it's taking shape and it has no wind. When I saw it, I said, it has no windows. <laughs> he said, no, we're going to cut the windows out. Then now it's all wood and it's a wooden it, box. It's a wooden box. <laughs> it is. And I said, oh, no, we're going to cut the windows out. So I'm interested to see how it all works out. So it's a sign, Naraini. So you need to follow the signs. Okay. Oh dear, need windows. Yes, there will be windows. We'll keep you posted. All right. Dandavas, dear devotees. Jai Gurudev, Jai Guru Maharaj. Amra Aschi. <laughs>